Toastmasters this evening and guests. Believe in yourself. That, gentlemen, is the key word to success. How many of you want a life full of harmony, happiness, and peace of mind? I'm sure each and every one of you. How do you go about achieving that? Simply believe in yourself. Did you know that most of us tend to want things in life? May I see a show of hands as to how many people wanted something in their life but did not have the tenacity and the belief to go ahead and achieve it? May I please have a show of hands? OK, some of you admit that. That is one of the keys. You know your limitations. Gentlemen, I stand in front of you as an example of just that. I listen to everyone. I'm the youngest in my family, so most of my decisions were made by my parents who told me what to do, who, of course, made decisions about my education in the beginning in the early years. But as I grew up and my bonds with them slowly, slowly decreased, and I was left to fend for myself, everyone's opinions mattered to me. I started listening to people. Big mistake. Because in this world, there are lots of people who will want to bring you down who will want you to be a failure. And then there are those handful of people who will want you to succeed, want you to be successful and become somebody in this world. Now, gentlemen, it's up to you to decide which positive and which negative criticism are you going to take? Are you going to accept and are you going to believe in? I started my educational life and people in the beginning said, why are you taking the metric system? It's so useless. I mean, you know, I mean, it's not useless actually, but it's easier. And all of the levels, oh my God, no, don't take it. It's just too difficult. Metric system, yes, it is useless. It is easier. But you have all the notes, Ava. Why don't you want to do something easy? First key to my believing in myself, I knew my capabilities. I knew that I could do it. So I told my parents, no, I want to go and I want to start with my O-levels. I want to do O-levels. Yes, gentlemen, it was tough. It was difficult, it was difficult, it was difficult. What happened? Nothing. I took it up as a challenge. And second key to my believing in myself, I started working hard. I said, since I have chosen this myself, it is my own personal decision, my belief, I actually simply started working harder. If I went to a party, I put in two extra hours of studies just to complete my work, finish the work I had already started. Gentlemen, I finished my O-levels and A-levels with excellent grades. Then, of course, came time to choose a career. Again, everybody has an opinion, right? Are you, beta? Why are you becoming a doctor? It's so useless. You're a girl. Anyway, you have to take care of your family. And you know, you have kids. Why become a doctor? Become a teacher, a secretary. It's so lucrative. You learn a lot of money. And then you can take care of your children also. And it's perfectly all right. Third key to my success. I believed in myself so much, I made a decision. And I stick to it till today. Like our father of the nation, Kadi Azam said, think a hundred times before you make a decision. But once that decision is made, stand by it like a man. And I still stand by, gentlemen, in front of you and say I made the right decision of not listening to those aunties, not listening to my uncles who discouraged me. Because here I am a doctor. And yet, the irony of life, the same aunties and uncles who used to tell me, never, don't become a doctor, are now, Veta, so you will do my treatment for free now. No, I mean, you know, you're a doctor now. I will always just come to you. I'm, I'm so proud of you, Veta. 
That's so good. I mean, I'm so proud. You finished. You did it. You become a doctor now. To be very that is sit now, which clinic is going to be yours? So, so you first treat us with free, right? I mean, it has to be free, right? You know us. In my mind, I'm always thinking, oh yes, come to my clinic. I'll charge you double. Yes, I would. Why wouldn't I? These are the people who discouraged me. All I've got was discouragement from them. And now the same people are turning around and telling me, free treatment, please. But gentlemen, fourth key, big key to success, humility. To err is human, but to forgive, divine. <coughs> gentlemen, I learned this, that I'm a human. I can make mistakes. So if the auntie or my uncle or some patient comes to me and God forbid that I make a wrong judgment, there is a chance that that patient might become serious or something might not agree with him or some medication I might give might not be as successful as it might be on some other patient, which is normally occurring in everyone. We all see that happening in every life. Everybody makes a mistake. So these aunties made a mistake. And of course, as you all know, it is divine to forgive. So I left them and their own pickiness, discouragement to God. I said, maybe in their day and age, women should not go ahead and become something in this world. So I gave them the benefit of the doubt. Then gentlemen, I, in my very short course of life, like each and every one of you right now, has suffered disappointment, has suffered failure. Fifth key to success, to believing in myself, failure is actually a part of success. If you do not fail, you will never ever find out what it feels like to finally finish and become successful and stand up and be proud that yes, I worked hard, I made my own decisions, I stood by my decisions, I worked, and now, gentlemen, I am here standing in front of you as a doctor, and as most of you know, and sir, you may not know this, but I am also a VJ for a music channel. Oh, I also come on TV, and again, discouragement. TV? You? You're a doctor? <laughs> You're a doctor? How can you go on TV, beta? No, 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 you're a doctor, you have to stay, you have to stay in the clinic. Now you have to do my free treatment. Why are you going on TV? Gentlemen, you know, believing in yourself also leads you to know that if I have the capability to do something, and gentlemen, if I have the capability to earn, do you know how much TV people earn? Why would I not want to go into that business? I earned in one day of work for one month, one day of work, I earn triple the amount of money I earn as a doctor in this country. So I am utilizing my own ability, my own abilities. Yes, I know my abilities have limitations. So I will not go and become an astronaut because I know I will not be able to do that. I could never ever become a pediatric surgeon because I do not have the ability to do that because it takes a lot of courage and guts to become a pediatric surgeon. I, very emotional, can't see children cry. So, gentlemen, my uncle taught me in the end, the most prized quotation, and something I have lived by. Nothing, nothing in this world that is worth having comes easy, nothing. So gentlemen, since I stand here as proof of this, I believe that each and every one of you has the strength and the tenacity to believe in yourself and to achieve every goal you set for yourself. Thank you. Over to the